so this is the street view here this is the neighborhood um, very well kept ranch homes here all right so here's the house we we'll go take a look inside um, based on the information from the neighbor no one has lived here for more than 20 years he said I know online it said 10 to 12, but he said they haven't lived here for longer than that. So you can see there that window, there's a good amount of damage to the wood around it. So that needs to be replaced. New windows probably throughout the house. Roof needs to be at the very least inspected. Um, a lot of overgrowth here. There are some things that's nice, like the wrought on fence that has a gate here be nice if it was fixed um, so let's go on inside and the windows pretty much all need to be replaced and look like some of the framework needs to be fixed around them same thing with the doors down here all right so you come to a foyer area and then to your left is the formal living room uh, it has carpet on the floor. I'm guessing with the year of this house, there's probably hardwoods underneath. This is your dining room area. Okay, here we go into the kitchen. Um, it needs a full rework. You may can salvage the cabinets by painting them, putting a new countertop. Uh, you do need a new stove, dishwasher, and it has an eating area here. The floors in here are vinyl. Um, this is the family room. It's all wood paneling, but some of the trim in here is really pretty. Um, on the banister, on the steps, fireplace. Um, and this also leads out to the garage, two car garage out here. That's the two-car garage. Garage doors need to be fixed. But very large garage. Is that a bird? Oh my god, I don't know what that is. Okay. So let's go upstairs. Upstairs are two bedrooms and um, two very large bedrooms actually, and a full bath. And then I'll well I'll do down here first before I go up. So when you come through. Here's the, what would be the owner's suite bath is open to the hallway. You may can salvage the tub and redo some of the tile. Um, again, the floors need to come up. It has two closets in here. So this is the owner's suite and it's a really good size. It opens to the hallway back towards the front door. And then here's the bathroom. And it may be something of closing off this bathroom just for the owner's suite. And then finding somewhere down here to tuck a half bath. Here's your electric. Um, a larger box, a newer box, but it looks probably need some rewiring done in there. I'm gonna head upstairs. Upstairs is two large bedrooms and a full bath. Uh, let me see if it's hardwoods under here. Yeah, it's hardwood under there. Good size bedroom. Looks like it's um access to the attic here. Let me see. So some storage here. It then has a large closet with some built-ins. Whew, it's hot in this house. Um Here's your second bath. Again, the tile work isn't terrible. Um, it could almost be resurfaced and painted. Just change out the vanity. Take down the wallpaper. There's some damage up there to that ceiling. You see. Here's the third bedroom. Again, these are large bedrooms. These are really good sized bedrooms. And here's the closet. Let's see. Oh, this one has a cedar closet. Very nice. Ooh. I apologize for my breathing, but it is like 100 degrees here today. 
And this house has no air, no utilities on, so it is really hot in here. It's your linen closet. Um, and then this one is another large walk-in closet here for storage. So maybe an opportunity to put a wash and dryer, like a stackable or something in there, make a laundry room. So I'm going back downstairs. I love the wood railing. Um, found in some of these older homes that you don't find. So part of your square footage, I'm sure that they're counting, is this space here. It's a closed-in patio room. You'd have to have it checked. There's some scrapes and things on the ceiling going on, some damage down here. But with a good painting and if you fix the roof, you could list this, of course, as a den or an extra room. Um, you have the heat and the air coming in here. And then there's outside. Um, let's go out. Can I get out this door? I'll walk around the side. I don't know if I can get out this door. But it has a large deck out there that needs some work and a screening area. Depending on how much work, it may be better to just fix the deck, get rid of the screen in portion. There's also a shed out there. Yard goes back to that fence area. I'm gonna go around from outside. All right. Let me lock this up. There is water on the kitchen floor. I'm not sure why I don't see any stains up here, but there are stains a couple different places in the ceiling, so that roof definitely needs to be addressed. Um, let me lock up and then I'll go outside around the side and uh, show you that portion. All right, let me lock this door. Oh, I'm a real estate agent. I'm actually showing the house to another client right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. All right. So here's the front yard. I told you to get around on the side. And then you took go around. No, ma'am, I'm not the listing agent. So here's. Is she here? No, I was telling. I don't mind showing the property, but um, if you're if you're looking to, I'd rather make you know schedule something, and then also too, just be mindful that even if our house is on the market, it's still private property, and so unless you have an appointment, they could consider that um, trespassing. Uh-huh. So here's the backyard. It's a pretty good size. It goes all the way back to that fence. And here's an um, additional shed area. Additional storage. Uh, let's see. Uh, the floors are no good in here. It looks almost like it was a fire or something. There. The floors are no good. And then this is the back. That's that additional room. Yeah, it's a lot of trees. You can yeah. see the um, roof, roof the there. Back. And that is what is the screen and porch area. And then it goes back to here. So when I spoke with the neighbor, he said that, oh, excuse me, man. Uh-huh, you're fine. Oh, I don't believe it. Uh-huh, yeah, I'm fine. Thank you. Um, When I spoke with the neighbor he said he lives on the side where there's a ditch behind the house and he has um flood insurance however his house is never flooded even when we have the bad storms it's never flooded um his is about 600 um but this house is actually on the opposite side of the street of where that ditch is in the flood zone and based on fema they're saying it's not so i don't know if you would really need it because it would have to that's the house the ditch is on the other side of those houses in front of me so here is again the street view, neighborhood, right?